guide that was the cringiest thing I've ever done welcome back to my channel I hope you guys are doing okay and I hope you're ready for our next Christmas gift guide I have done a Christmas gift guide for him which I had Tom on for um but now you have just got me and we are going to do the Christmas gift guide for her um it's going to be filled with lots of gifts all to do with I mean I think there's a range actually oh hi Nelly Hi! Oh, who's come to join us? Oh my god, don't kiss my face! What would you like for Christmas, Nelly? What would you like for Christmas? I'd like a ball, and a pool toy, and a blanket, and treats. Ay, 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 ay! Okay, so yeah, there's gonna be gifts for everyone. Um, I've done a real mix, I've tried to do a mix of like hobbies and interests and then as always with my gift guides I try and make sure there's like a variety of budgets um, and then also like a variety of like age ranges with recommendations so if you're interested in a particular thing just take a look at the timestamps down below and you should be able to find what you're looking for but yeah I feel like let's just get into this video and um, go get yourself a cozy drink I've got mine I actually oh can I pick it up Oh my god, I've actually gone for a coffee today. I am, you're probably like, Saffron, do you actually need a coffee? Because I feel like I've started this video ugh, with like high energy. But I am tired, I swear, and I can feel the crash is coming. So I'm topping up with a little bit of a, like, it's actually a pumpkin spice mocha because I've got loads of pumpkin spice syrup and I'm just a bit hooked. Um, I need to go shopping for my like winter syrups and I've not done it yet but we've got pumpkin spice syrup mocha this is like Tom's recipe and I finally learned how to do it it's not as good as his but it's close and I've got some Christmas snacks I'm so excited about this I have got some I can't say this mini chocolate speculatus they're these sort of things these are my favorite Christmas biscuits and I feel like that sounds like a really boring choice to be my favorite ever but they absolutely are. I've never fully mastered making them myself and I really want to this year. So I'll bring you guys along for that in a different video. But for now, Tesco's own brand are going to be keeping me going. Um, and you brought a teddy for me, hi. Oh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy this video and let's let's get into the Christmassy feels. Go get yourself a cozy drink, a little snack, um, possibly a notebook to start working out maybe what you want on your Christmas list, but also what you want to get for others. And um, yeah, let's let's do this. Bye. Okay, so we're gonna start off as always with hampers. I feel like a hamper is a really really cute gift. I don't know why I love them so much. My little sister makes these little kind of like color themed boxes um, and I just think they're the cutest thing ever. And I feel like maybe that's why hampers have such like a sentimental like value thing to me. I don't know, but I just feel like they are literally the sweetest thing and one of the easiest things to put together at Christmas. Um, Cause I feel like you can kind of, you can pull out a lot of just little things that you know about a person to try and make a really personalized hamper, which I just think is so cute. Um, so like one of the first things that I thought you could add into like a hamper, which honestly, I think you could make suit all age ranges. Um, as long as you have like a rough idea of the person that you're shopping for. But in a hamper for someone, I was thinking you could go for a bath bomb. Obviously you guys know my favorite place to get bath bombs is Lush, but you can really go anywhere. Um, Lush is just my favorite. I recommend that, but I also recommend pairing that then with like a really nice book. I think you kind of do have to know the person slightly, but also I think just it, it, even being able to narrow down a genre is really nice and I just think getting into a really really nice bath with a lovely book especially in winter is like the cutest thing in the world and just so relaxing I also feel like you could add into this hamper a um, like a candle as well just to try and like really make that whole 
cozy vibe, I guess. And again, I feel like as long as you have a, like a bit of knowledge about the person, you can probably pick a candle out that will work quite well. The other thing I was thinking is you could add in like a little pair of cozy socks or like a really cozy little throw. I feel like you can make these as expensive as you want to. So like you could get some socks literally just from Primark. I get my socks from Primark, I love them. Um, but you could also maybe like splash out a little bit more, get some fancy socks. I know like the white company do their little boxes with like socks and candles and stuff in. So I feel like you can really make this as big a deal or as little a deal as you want. But I think the whole hamper setup is just so cute, so cozy. Um, I feel like you could even make it a bit cheaper by adding in things that you've made yourself. So like if you're good at baking, adding in like a little bit of like baked cookies or brownies or whatever into the hamper is a really nice way to just like, I don't know, make it easy for yourself. But also I feel like those sort of gifts really do mean a lot. So. That's number one on my list is hamper, which you could literally make suit any sort of age. I just think it's the coziest thing. Guys, my, my biscuits are tiny. Why are they so small? I thought they were gonna be like normal size. They're so mini. Oh, they do say mini on them. I've just picked up the wrong pack. Well, are they nice? Mmm. They are nice. I can't believe they're so tiny. Mmm, they're yummy though. They're yummy. Okay, next on my list of different things to get, moving into kind of like teens and young adults. I've already mentioned them, but I'm gonna say it again for the people in the back. You've got to go to Lush. I feel like it's the go-to Christmas shop. Like when you're first starting your Christmas shopping or if you're doing a secret Santa, like Lush is the perfect place. Um, for kind of like the young, younger people off the bat, I would say Snow Fairy. I know some people love it, some people hate it. Um, and maybe some people are in the middle, to be honest. But I just think Snow Fairy is one of the loveliest little gifts. They're doing a very small Snow Fairy gift set at the moment, um, which I'll try. I think I've got a little clip of it, which I'll show you guys. But I can literally just include a bath bomb and a shower gel. And um, it's just so, so sweet and cozy. I'm, I've always got a bit of a an attachment to Lush because that was like, I, I vividly remember the first time I got a Lush gift set and I just remember feeling so grown up and so excited um, and I just I love the idea of being able to pass that on to someone else so like Lush gift sets are up there and I think for kind of a younger person a, um, a snow fairy gift set thanks Nelly a snow fairy gift set is perfect so kind of going along the lines of like cozy vibes and after having a really cute, nice bath, my next suggestion was gonna be some nice pajamas. Again, with pajamas, I think you can literally make this as expensive or as kind of cost effective as you want based on whichever shop you go to. Um, so I've definitely had a lot of really nice pajamas from Primark. Um, I think the pajamas in there, they do look quite cute and I think they, you could probably shop for almost anyone in there as well. There's a lot of different styles. Um, also, an alternative, if you wanna spend a little bit more, in places like Bow Avenue, Victoria's Secret. To be honest, H&M have done some lovely pajamas. I don't normally shop in there for pajamas, but um, I actually got stranded in London a few weeks ago um, and I needed some pajamas to stay the night that I wasn't originally planning to stay and H&M was the only place open that late in the evening. Um, and the pajamas were amazing. They were so nice. So I do recommend them too. Um, but those are kind of like in the middle range of pajama budgets. Um, and I think again, they can be quite a nice cozy little gift. If you wanted to spend even more, if your person is like very into pajamas, which I get, I would consider myself very into pajamas, um, I would suggest having a look at places like, um, places like Girl and Muse, but then also Skims. I feel like those ranges of pajamas, I mean, first of all, they're just stunning. They are literally beautiful. The Girl and Muse pajamas, you guys know I got a pair last year. Um, they were a bit big. I 
basically I got them in the sale and I probably should have gone for like a medium or a small and I had to get a large and they were a lot bigger than I was expecting. But they are literally the comfiest pyjamas I have ever worn. I I actually just get excited to wear them. When I think about the fact that I'm going to be wearing them soon, I just get so excited. Um, they are a bit pricey, I can't lie. To me, when I got them in the sale, 100% worth the money, and I'll be honest, I'm thinking about buying them at full price this year too. Um, they are just literally the coziest things. I'm, I, I would love to try the Skims pyjamas, but they're so expensive. So I'm still, I'm still trying to girl maths the Skims pyjamas in my head. If you have the, the hack for me, comment it down below because like I want a pair. I just need to be able to mentally justify it and I'm not quite there yet. But if you can justify spending that much on pyjamas, cheers, good for you. I'm just not there yet and I wanna be there. So we'll pick back up on that one in a few weeks. Um, but yeah, those were my top picks for kind of cozy pyjamas and cozy bath items that I think are just super, super cute. After that then, I had a little bit of a think about kind of like fragrances you could pick out for someone that's quite young. I do think like fragrance is kind of a hard one to pick because I genuinely believe when you put a fragrance on your skin, it does change the way it smells. And I feel like some people probably think that people are dramatic when they say that, but I honestly genuinely believe it's the truth. I, I remember I used to work on like the fragrance counter of Boots. I don't anymore, but I used to. And I remember like the Christmas rush of people like buying their fragrances for their partners. And I put on this fragrance in the morning. I'd like, it was a new one out and I'd smelt it and I loved it. And I was like, I'm gonna put it on for the day. Guys, within like an hour, it was not for me. I don't know what, it was in the perfume, but however it reacted to my body, the smell. Honestly, now I'm thinking about it, I can't believe I'm telling you this story because it's a little bit embarrassing, but it just smelled like, I can't even remember. I think like the perfume smelled a bit like chocolatey-ish, but then like when it was on my body, after like literally two hours, it smelled so strongly of like burnt coffee. I don't know what was going on. It was not a good choice, but I have picked out a few like fragrances I feel like are pretty, much like a safe bet on anyone and kind of like fragrance like staple items for if you're like young and starting out your fragrance collection. So first off the bat I was thinking uh, Black Opium by YSL. I feel like that's just a classic. It's definitely one of, it was one of my earliest perfumes that I absolutely loved. It's very very sweet, um, I'd say maybe like a little bit strong um, but just like one of the nicest ones. Um, and of course, like it's such a well-known brand that I think someone will be quite excited to open that up when it's under the tree. Um, another one that I thought of is that I know a lot of the young girls now are wearing Burberry um, as their fragrance, which I think is really nice too. I think if you're wanting something that's still kind of, you know, young and floral, or no, sorry, they're still quite young and sweet, but maybe more on like the floral side of sweet than kind of like the sugary side of sweet. Um, a really good option is really any of the kind of like younger Marc Jacob fragrances. So I'd say kind of like the Coloured Daisy products, they would be really, really good for someone that's young, but maybe wanting something that's a little bit step up from the super, <laughs> from the super sweet fragrances. Um, obviously, Fragrances can be quite expensive. So I've tried to have a little bit of a think about what you could get that wouldn't be as expensive as a fragrance. And I did think that maybe one of the options could be sort of body sprays instead. So with that, what I was thinking is that you could get, there's quite a few different brands to be fair. I think if you wanted something a little bit more of a higher budget, my recommendation would be like Sol de Janeiro. I feel like a lot of their fragrances, again, super, super sweet. But they've also kind of got that like, I guess I'd say like wow factor. I think people notice when you pull that out your bag. Um, and I know like when I was young, especially when I was a teenager, that was a really big deal. Um, so I think this, that's definitely an option. I feel like, yeah, Sol de Janeiro, but then also I think you could branch out into some other ones. I know when I was younger, Victoria's Secret was all the range for their body sprays. Um, but also you can make this quite a lot more budget friendly. So. Boots do their own versions. I know Ted Baker do a few that come in. At a when I remember this, I'm sure it's like 12 pounds. And then there is obviously brands like So, 
um, and they do their versions as well. So there, there is a lot of options there to try and make it a little bit more budget friendly for everyone. So then kind of looking more into like luxury gifts, I had kind of two key thoughts with this for kind of like teenagers and young adults. The first, and I included this in my last gift guide as well, has to be Uggs. I feel like Uggs are such a staple, they're such an exciting gift. I actually saw a TikTok the other day, which was like an old Christmas video of like a young girl getting gifted Uggs and she's like, jumping up and down, screaming, and the camera kind of pans over to her dad, and the like, whoever's on the camera is like, oh, what did you gift her? And the dad's like, I don't know, slippers? And it's like, mm. they were not slippers, they were Uggs, there's a big difference. It was very exciting. Um, but yeah, I feel like Uggs are definitely a really cool way to go. I've got the Ugg minis. I mean, I love my Ugg minis. I am kind of I really do want to get the Ultra Minis. I think they're really cute too, but I do love the Ugg Minis. I, I also know that this year, the Taz, Ugg Taz has been really, really popular as well. I'll link all of these down below for you. Um, but I just feel like, yeah, they're such a good gift. And I feel like they're kind of a gift that shows that you really kind of know what's going on a little bit. Um, obviously the Uggs come in loads of different colors. So you will need to have a little bit of think about that and they do sell out all the time. So you need to kind of be like setting alerts on your phone um, and kind of getting them as soon as you get the opportunity. You can't really leave it until like just before Christmas. So if you're in the market for Uggs as a Christmas gift, yeah, get in early. Um, Cause they, they sell out so fast. It's, it's a crazy market out there. My next recommendation for something that's kind of a little bit more of like a luxury present, but this one I think you could maybe push to budget slightly, is the Dior lip oil. Um, I think we all know it's kind of like, it's been such a huge item. I think last year everyone went crazy on TikTok for it. Honestly, it's my favorite kind of like lip product. Uh, I wear it almost every day. Um, and with it being Dior, it does kind of have that whole luxury element to it, which I think is a big deal for a lot of girls. So I'd 100% recommend that. Again, it's one of those items that you need to kind of make sure you get it early because it can sell out quite fast. But one of the ways that I thought you could maybe make it a little bit more special um, would be to get it personalized. So you can actually get the Dior lip oil personalized with your name engraved on the side. Um, I think they do this in some flagship stores, like flagship boot stores. Um, but you can also get it done via the Dior website. So there's a few different options for you there, but I just feel like that would be such a insane present. I just feel like it's such an exciting thing to first of all have like a Dior lip oil, but then to literally have your name engraved on the side. I just think it's such a cute little idea that maybe would be quite special to someone. Moving away from beauty slightly, my next idea for kind of like a teen young adult would be a record player. Um, you guys might know this about me already, but I am a Taylor Swift girly. I absolutely love it. Um, and I am kind of regretting not having a record player for all the re-releases. Like when the vinyls come out and they've got like extra songs and things on, it's kind of killing me slightly that I don't have one. Um, and the same for like Olivia Rodrigo and all of that sort of stuff. Like I've just, I feel like I've missed out and I feel like there's probably a lot of other girls out there that's feeling the same way. So I think a record player could be actually quite a big gift this year. Um, and again, like there's so many vinyls out there that you could buy as well. So I feel like that's a really good one, but it, it is a little bit expensive. It's far from ideal price wise, but I just think it's gonna be such a big deal like this Christmas. I don't know why. Well, I do know why, but I just feel like I feel like it's gonna be a big deal. I don't know, we'll see if I'm right, but that's the vibes that I'm getting from kind of the la what's been happening this year. I think it's gonna be a big present and a very common present. So I think it's one to keep your eye on, especially with Black Friday coming up, being able to grab those when they're in the sales would be very, very helpful. Then I feel like it wouldn't be a real proper Christmas gift guide for her if we didn't mention uh, Filter by Molly Bay. 
Again, the Christmas gift sets from Feels by Molly May are always so nice. And I think it's one of those brands where it is a little bit more expensive. So a lot of younger girls aren't going to get those items all the time. And it will be a little bit of a treat. Um, so I feel like a lot of their stuff could be quite nice. Um, and then I also thought about kind of like just some more general skincare essential items. So kind of like the Boom Boom Cream from Sol de Janeiro, um, but also some Kiel Skin skincare. I've kind of, I've been, I've changed my skincare from LMS to more Kiehl's. And honestly, I've seen quite a big difference with the exception of kind of like hormone related skin changes. My skin has been really stable um, and I'd say to be honest, just in a like really quite healthy condition, considering the weather's changed in the last few weeks, my skin hasn't changed massively. It's only ever really had like a little bit of dry skin on my nose. So I do really rate the Kiel items. Um, I think they're doing like a little starter pack set this year, um, which I think would be like, oh, camera's freaking out. Um, but yeah, I think they're doing like a starter set this year. So I'll link it down below for you. But I really do rate their stuff. I feel like the they have like this emphasis on science behind like the skincare, which really helps to kind of empower young people and teenagers to make proper decisions on their skincare rather than kind of get like drawn in too much by all the marketing. So I do rate them a lot as a brand. And I guess kind of like a more budget friendly version of that would be The Ordinary. I think they kind of have that similar premise where it's really focused on actually what the products do rather than just the kind of the broad branding around those products so they're kind of like top of my list for skincare then it wouldn't really be one of my gift guides if i didn't mention books i just i love giving books for christmas gifts i really do um and i think there's actually loads of amazing books for like young people um kind of some of the ones that i picked out already if you're looking for a book that maybe is a little bit more thought provoking my recommendation was going to be Yellow Face. Again, I'll link these all down below. Um, in essence, that's a book about a an author writer who basically steals a different person's writing. Um, and there's a lot of discussions around race, diversity within this story where in, effectively she's plagiarised this book and published it as her own. It's very crazy. It's a little bit stressful as a book. I found it quite stressful to read because the story is so fast paced and I'm an awful liar at the best of times. So kind of the character's lying a lot to people and I find that really stressful. But I found the whole discussions around the depiction of race in storytelling, but also kind of who gets to control that narrative and do that storytelling was just it was really interesting to see those debates play out within the story itself um so i really recommend it if kind of your young person is into kind of the more thought-provoking books um it, it is definitely its own form of escapism but it, it also really makes you think about some more challenging topics i guess Okay, so moving on to mums, um, I've listed out a few different things on here. I feel like, I don't know if it's just me, but I find mums, I guess, one of the hardest people to shop for. I, I just feel like there's a lot of pressure. Like, I love my mum so much. I really want to get her something that's really special. And I just find, like, I get really flustered the idea of making sure that the gifts are what I want it to be um and I guess there's no real way to fully symbolize how much you love someone for a gift right that's why it's so difficult um but yeah I've, I've made a list anyway and I've tried to yeah list it all out for you um so starting off said it once gonna say it again 100% look in Lush um, the gift set that I picked out for mums is actually the Winter Wonderland gift set. I just felt that that had a little bit more of a better scent for mums. I feel like Snow Fairy is very young, is very sweet, and the Winter Wonderland set is a little bit more natural, a little bit more just less sweet in your face sort of smelling um so i picked that out and obviously i think you know for a lot of mums the opportunity to have a quiet night in <laughs> and actually have a really nice bath would probably be a real gift 
and a real treat. So I, I think don't skimp over that one thinking, oh, it's just toiletries. Cause I feel like, you know, if you did that gift set, but then with a little voucher, maybe offering a bit of childcare so they can actually enjoy that bath. That would be a real treat. So I think that is one to consider for quite a few moms out there. And if you're a mom watching this, don't be afraid to put that on your Christmas list, okay? Cause I'm sure you deserve it. I'm sure you deserve to have a little break. So yeah, feel free to take that idea. After kind of like the Lush products, I did again have a little think about fragrances. Um, so for moms, I think you kind of want to go for a fragrance that is a little bit more grown up. Um, but still kind of within that sort of fresh sort of smelling scent. Um, so my top picks were the Jo Malone English Pear. I think we've all seen the adverts with uh, Sophia Ritchie and the whole like biting into a pear, now it's a fragrance thing. But oh my goodness, that is one of the most stunning fragrances I have smelled in quite a while. I absolutely love it. Um, I feel like it's so nice. But again, it's got that very clean, very fresh smell where you kind of, you notice it, but it's not that hard hitting in your face, overpowering smell, which I think a lot of people quite like. So that was option one. Another option is again, Dior. Um, this time I was thinking maybe Dior Joy. That one I feel like is a little bit more grown up than the Jo Malone fragrance, um, but it's also very, it's, it's very Dior. It's definitely got that signature Dior kind of smell to it. It does smell quite expensive, um, but it's not as hard hitting as some of the other Dior and Chanel fragrances. It's a little bit softer, but it's still got that very much elegant smell to it, um, which I think a lot of mums will quite like. Um, so those were like my top picks for fragrances for the mums. Again, I think an honorable mention is Marc Jacobs. A lot of those fragrances to me, I associate with moms. Um, I know my mom's top fragrances tend to be um, Perfect by Marc Jacobs and also Livier Bell. Um, so I think those are two also very good shouts for fragrances. My next big idea, and I'm quite excited by this one to be honest, is to take a look on Abbott Lion. So on their website, they do a lot of personalized jewelry. You could get little name necklaces, name rings, name bracelets, um, but you could also get, I think I've got one on at the moment. Let's see if I can like get it out of my jumper. Uh, I don't know how well you can see that, but this one that I got has like a little T on for Tom, an S for Saffron, and then like a little paw print that's meant to like symbolize Nelly. I'm back in my jumper. I wear that necklace literally all the time. I rarely take it off. I just, I love it so much. Um, and I think, yeah, a lot of people love that personalized jewelry sort of look as well. I think it's a lot more popular at the moment. I think, you know, you could either have it with the mom's name on, but you could also have it with like the children's name on, anything that kind of means a lot to them. Um, a lot of the time they have discount codes as well. So you can often get your personalized jewelry as a two for one. So you could actually get a necklace and a ring or whatever else you might want. Um, so I do really recommend their stuff. And the packaging is so nice. You can pay slightly more and get like personalized packaging, um, but the packaging in itself is very nice. So I do really recommend their stuff as well. And again, I'll link it down below for you. After that, I was thinking about kind of like candles that you could potentially get. Um, so obviously we have to mention again, Jo Malone. I think their candles are so nice and they are definitely like a big deal. So I feel like gifting that it is a real treat. It is something that most people don't go out and buy themselves, which I think is really nice. A kind of an alternative to Jo Malone, I think would be like a white company candle. I think we've all seen over the internet like winter spice fragrances. Um, so I think those would be a really nice shout as well. Whether you got winter spice or you got more of just an all year round fragrance might be a good shout, um, but they've got loads of different types. So I would recommend the white company for a lot of different things. But obviously do check some of the other stores. So you guys will have seen in one of my other videos, I didn't get a white company candle this year and I got a B&M version instead, just because it was a lot cheaper. Um, so I do think you can kind of make that a little bit more budget friendly if you want to as well, but still kind of have those white company vibes. Whilst talking about the white company, one thing that I think I'm gonna put on my wish list for this year is um, some white company bathrobes, or to be honest, just like 
bathrobes in general. Um, I feel like the white ones that are kind of made of that towel material, they just add that real like hotel spa sort of vibe to your evening, um, which I really, really like. And I just love the fact that you can then put like a towel in your hair. And I don't know, I just, I just, I love that whole aesthetic. I think it looks so sweet. Um, so that's something that I'm adding to my list this year. Again, you could get those from the white company, but you could also find some cheaper alternatives, which I'll link down below for you all. Um, I just feel like it just adds a little bit of glamour and like luxury to your everyday life. And I think that's what means more is like, if you can add little details to your everyday that makes you feel really special, then that's an amazing thing and worth doing. So yeah, that was my, my option there. Then moving into books, I had kind of, I had a few recommendations to be fair. So the first one is called, <laughs> excuse the language now, it's called A Shite Before Christmas. And it's basically, it's written by the TikTok person. I can't remember her actual name, but she like the account name's like Mammy Banter. Um, and she's basically, it's a book about a mom in the run up to Christmas and everything's going wrong. Um, it's a complete comedy. It literally, I couldn't stop laughing from the start of reading it to the end. It was so, so good. Um, and just so heartwarming. It was such a lovely one. So I do recommend that. Um, other books that I was thinking, you guys all know, I'm absolutely obsessed with Beth O'Leary books. I think a new book's just been brought out, which I think is called The Wake Up Call. Um, but then there's loads of others. The Flat Share and The Switch are like my top favourites. I just absolutely love them. Uh, I like to think about them so often. I wish I could reread them. Um, but yeah, they're kind of like my top options for books. The other ones I thought of were, there's a lot of like biographies coming out at the moment. I know Paris Fury's done her one, which looks pretty good. And I feel like my mom would quite like that. So um, I think that's like quite a good option too. Aside from kind of like books that you'd read, other options I think would be like kind of like coffee table books. I think they kind of have that aesthetic look that had been like a little treat for a few moms so if you happen to see any of those that might be a good alternative to kind of like the typical books as well so finally then the other people that we need to think about are grands and nans slightly older women um for the grands i was thinking about some candles i had to think about kind of like woodwick is one that i've got my gran a few times which is basically where the wick of the candle makes the sound of a fire um which is really comforting and cozy and they've got quite a lot of like stronger fragrances uh, which i think like maybe appeals more to nans um so i really recommend them but then along those same lines i think yankee candle is such a classic brand that people like that all people know so i think kind of a yankee candle candle would be really appreciated too um and i know yankee candle do a lot of sales so there could be some opportunities to grab those at a slightly discounted price so do keep an eye out for that for books for grands again i think there is just literally absolutely loads um, I saw a few books to do of like bird watching, but also going out in nature. Um, so I think there's like so many options there as like cutesy little gifts. And then I also thought about kind of like framed photos. I think you can get like frames really anywhere. I think M&S do some lovely ones next home, but then also you could go to HomeSense and have a little bit of a dig to try and find a really nice frame. And then putting a photo in of you and your family, I think is a really special gift. Um, I've had, I had my, one of my nans pass away a, like a few months ago. Um, and that was kind of like the last gift that I gave her. Um, which I was told brought a lot of joy. So I think it just, I think it's a really lovely gift and I think it's really sentimental and it's nice to note that they can still feel included even if they're maybe a little bit of a further distance. So I do recommend those gifts, which maybe sometimes feel a bit too easy. Sometimes they can just mean a real lot. So I do really recommend that. Sorry guys, my camera accidentally died, so I've had to go charge it and then I was actually running late for meeting a friend. I'm hoping we've covered a lot of ground in this video. I've tried to be a little bit quick and go over things, but also hopefully it's useful to you. Um, but yeah, I think, I think that is everything. 
If you've got any ideas of your own, please do comment them down below. I'm really keen for this to be a little bit like a community um, where we can share ideas and suggestions with each other and come up with new ones as well. Um, so if you've got some ideas, please do link them down below, suggest them down below um, because I love to hear them. I love to try and like broaden my horizons and get an idea of what other gifts are out there. So I do really want to hear it. Um, and as always, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. It does mean the absolute world. Like, I tell no lie. Every single time I see that I've even got just like one subscriber, my heart does a little dance. Like, it's literally just the most wonderful, most exciting thing. Um, and yeah, I just, I just feel so honoured and grateful for every single one of you. And I love being able to share this Christmassy season with you all. Um, but yeah, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. I hope it is cosy and full of love. And I will see you all next week. Bye, guys. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories.